Is it time to buy or sell Qualcomm stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Qualcomm. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, May 4, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 12, 2023, our system has ranked Qualcomm as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 4.64. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 11.38%. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.67% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the lower of a wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $105.68 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 10.57% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 11.33% and 2.49%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 13.65% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 24.29% and 7.82%. This translates to a price range of $80.70 to $114.92 after a year. Our latest daily update for Qualcomm includes the headline, Very Red Day for Qualcomm Stock Price After Minus 5.54% Fall in Thursday Trading Session. The Qualcomm stock price fell by minus 5.54% on the last day, Thursday, May 4, 2023, from $112.83 to $106.58. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 3.46% from a day low at $103.54 to a day high of $107.12. The price has fallen in 7 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 10.17% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 12 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 22 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.35 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $156.66, and the lowest price was $101.93. Currently, the price is 31.97%, or $50.08, below the 52-week high, and 44.94%, or $87, below the all-time high on January 5, 2022, when the price reached $193.58. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, April 28, 2022, Susquehanna set a price target of 165. On Thursday, April 28, 2022, Susquehanna set a price target of 165. On Thursday, April 28, 2022, Susquehanna set a price target of 165. On Monday, April 25, 2022, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 167. On Monday, April 25, 2022, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 167. Analysts have given Qualcomm stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Qualcomm. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Qualcomm stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $113.75 and $120.16. 
A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Friday, March 31, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 16.46%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 24 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 1 day ago. Short term moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. Long term moving average, sell signal 18 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 15 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal 20 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 18 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 14 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Qualcomm There is no support from accumulated volume below today's level and given the right condition the stock may perform very badly in the next couple of days. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $3.58 between high and low, or 3.46%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.81%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Qualcomm, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 25, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Qualcomm. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Qualcomm is at $120.51. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. There's no significant support from accumulated volume below, which means the stock could potentially drop sharply under certain conditions. Proceed with caution and consider placing bets only if you're an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations. The combined average rating for Qualcomm from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On April 14, 2023, Amon Cristiano R conducted an insider sell of 172,015 shares of common stock. On April 14, 2023, Amon Cristiano R conducted an insider buy of 172,015 shares of common stock. On March 31, 2023, Smith Neal conducted an insider buy of 225 shares of common stock. On March 31, 2023, Trequa Jean Pascal conducted an insider buy of 264 shares of common stock. On March 10, 2023, Acevedo Silvia conducted an insider buy of 1,091 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 19.375. Overall, Insiders purchased 731,134 shares and sold 474,243 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Qualcomm stock a good buy? Qualcomm holds several negative signals and is within a wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. 
After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, May 5th, we expect Qualcomm to open down minus 83 cents and start trading at $105.75. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.